So, is this your first time in San Jose? No, no, no. My in-laws live in Fremont, so we come here all the time. We like eating Asian food, so we come to San Jose. Welcome to CineQuest. Thank you very much. Um, I really am excited to be here. I don't think, uh, I think Bo Big in Bollywood played here, but I didn't get to come. So this is my first time coming to CineQuest. Okay. I saw your film, For Here, to, for here you, or To Go. You have seen it before me. I haven't seen the film yet. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I saw it. So what did you think? It was a very lie interesting to me, film. Lie please. Lie uh, to me. You were good. Oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> that, that, excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm really excited about the film playing here. We have a really big premiere tomorrow at uh, 9.15, so, so hopefully everything goes well. I think it's sold out. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of the film? Because you were born in this country, you're an American, but you struggled in Bollywood. Yes, yes. Um, I think it's really good because there's a lot of Indians, a lot of immigrants that have to deal with uh, coming to a new place and not feeling like they belong, wondering should they go back. You know, my parents, they, they used to buy 220 volt uh, uh, appliances because they kept thinking that they're going to go back. So they, there is this idea of, of uh, sort of instability and should I go or come? And that feeling is sort of the theme of the film. And uh, my character is a role that I've never played before. Uh, he's, a, he's a South Indian who, who has a secret and he can't tell that secret until he gets his green card. And he gets his green card. It's a, sort of an explosive secret. And uh, it's a really different role that I've never played before. It's more serious. And I'm very excited to, to get a chance to play such a, such a wonderful role. This is diametrically opposite from your uh, role in the Three Idiots uh, film. Yes, yes. This is very different than the work that I'm known for. I'm mainly known for comedy and uh, sort of improvisation. But this was, uh, this was a very serious, very in, in, internal uh, dramatic role, so I was very excited to play such a role. Let's go back to you growing up in California. You grew up not too far from Joshua Tree National Park. Wow, did you put that look on your uh, phone right now? Or Wow, that is really good. She has a good, ma this is Kamla's show, she's amazing. Um, yes, I grew up in Joshua Tree, which is a rural area. Uh, there were no Indians there, so I grew up in a very uh, white, uh, whitewashed sort of, I became whitewashed, I wanted to become white for a long time and I always thought that being Indian was a disability in this country. Only when I grew up and I started to realize that being Indian, being different was something to be proud of and something that very few people have, that culture, that, that pride. Um, it's, it's something that's really wonderful and it's something that has really separated me as an actor, as an artist from so many other people. So um, it, that, that's sort of, uh, it's been a really, really wonderful growth for me as a person. And now I not only um, accept my Indian identity, but it, it blends really well with my American. And, uh, and it's great to be an Indian American, really. Did you grow up watching Bollywood films? Absolutely not. I didn't watch it. Uh, they were sort of regarded as less than, than good because my mother was into high, high art movies. So we would watch, uh, you know, Nana Patikar or uh, some, somebody like that, Nasruddin Shah movies. Uh, Marathi movies because I'm Maharashtrian, but uh, but Bollywood movies was just mostly garbage for us in 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 in, uh, in in like you know watching in home and I had no relation to it growing up in a, in a white sort of community. Uh, it was only after I started to become in Bollywood that I started watching them and understanding the sensibilities and why people watch them, the sort of escapism that they provide for people. And um, I've had a more sense of appreciation for Bollywood movies. But absolutely, never watched them. And, and probably the reason that I got my uh, chance in Bollywood was because of my lack of knowledge and sort of my, you know, nonchalantness about working in a Bollywood movie. How do you look at Bollywood today? Because you are kind of working with Bollywood. Absolutely. I totally look at it much differently. Uh, it's, it's a very, it's a growing uh, industry. It is, is at one point going to, these movies are going to make $200 million within the next 20 years. They're going to be a world player because there are so many people. And uh, America is going to have to start catering their films to the Indian market. So I think that uh, Bollywood is, is a very, very important, impactful thing. It, it, it not only plays in India, but in the Middle East and England and, and Australia. Bollywood movies are adored and loved. And um, I think there's something to say for pure entertainment sort of um, movies. And I think that that's where Bollywood movies have their power. What is next for you? 
Well, other than this movie for here to go, um, I've done another movie. Um, it's called Checkmate, and it is, I think they've changed the name now. It's called The Mirror Game, and uh, that is another Bollywood film. I am playing a, uh, it's a psychological thriller. We shot it in New Jersey, so that will be sometime premiering next year. I've also done a TV show uh, for Star TV, which is called Brown Nation, um, and that's another 10, 10 episodes. And other than that, there's, there's a lot of stuff I'm doing. I'm also writing and directing, and who knows? Who knows what's up? Omi, thank you so much. Thank you very much.